presentation today, a 3-2 victory away from home for Corfe Town. We know that you play for Mansfield, we know that you're on loan system, but how is it between the sticks here uh, when you're playing at Seal Park and, and playing for Corby? Yeah, really enjoying it at the minute. I've um, been enjoying it all season ever since I've been here. They've treated me really nice, um, boosting my confidence, trying to get my starting position higher. Obviously, it's my first loan club, so um, making sure I can get into men's football correctly and stuff, getting with men and stuff, dealing with them. I tried to today in the last few minutes. Um, obviously, just booting it in the box, really, they were, but yeah, it's going good, really good, thanks. Um, just trying to get into that play-up place now. Of course, it was a fraught last 10 minutes. There were shots going in left, right and centre. They've pulled one back and the last five minutes, it was like all, all hands to the pump, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, well, they, they just took all their 10 men up front and even their keeper, who was an outfield player, had to come in their box and stuff. So yeah, just one of them where you've got to just stay narrow, stay compact, make the defenders try and, try and defend, really, um, and everyone just get behind the ball. When you know it's, you've, got, you've got three points on the card and it's getting near the end of the game and everything's being thrown at you, does that make it, make it more special that you've taken three points because yeah. you've actually achieved something by having to take on all that kind of uh, you know, force from their uh, forward line? Yeah, definitely. I mean, everyone's probably going to look at the scoreline and think they've gone down to 10 men early on in the game and stuff, but at the end of the day, we've still had 10 people to defend with the bot in the box. Um, yeah, it feels really good in the change room now. All the lads are buzzing off it. Uh, the music booming and stuff, so it's all going really well. Three points even feels sweeter now, so. And last week, of course, you got a clean sheet. It hasn't happened for a long time. It's been a long period when Corby were actually, uh, came back from a, w a position of actually winning a game, but that must have been a, a proud moment as well. It's always nice to get a clean sheet. Yeah, yeah, obviously, that's what keepers try for. So, um, yeah, clean sheet's going, always what you aim for before the game. Um, really good clean sheet. Obviously, the three points is the main thing that we aim for because um, we need to try and push into the playoffs now. But yeah, the clean sheet, really happy with it and it's just a good confidence builder. Up to eighth today, but you're enjoying your time here at Corby Town? Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, just hopefully we'll try and get into those promotion places. Um, that's what we're aiming for, or the whole team knows it. So yeah, just trying to get into there. Um, yeah, it's going really good. So hopefully just getting more wins on the cards now. And you get a lot of support from your host club as well, because they've certainly been down to watch you. We know that there's links there between Corby and uh, Mansfield. It, it's nice that everybody kind of helps you help the push forward to you being one of the better keepers we've got in the league. Yeah, I mean, as soon as you go on your phone after the game, you, you see that the, that the managers in the, at Mansfield all know the score and stuff, so and asking how you played and stuff. So yeah, it's all really good. I mean, Colby and Mansfield look like they've got a good relationship between them as well. Um, obviously, we've got Cam here as well, so but he's injured at the minute. But yeah, it's really good getting pushed on by the by Mansfield as well as Colby. Um, yeah, it's going. They're all really good for us. So, well done today for the three points. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.